Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Gaming. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Pretty much since the beginning of video games, stupid adults have been trying to stop kids from playing them. With some games, like the ones on our most disturbing video games list, Sweet Plug Ron, it's understandable. But other times, the reasons people give are just plain dumb. So I thought I'd talk about some of the most common reasons given and discuss whether or not I think they're true. So get ready, it's time for the Top 10 Reasons Kids Shouldn't Play Video Games. Number 10. It makes kids violent. This one just pisses me off. I get that it seems like it would, and maybe it does increase aggression a smidge, but time and time again, studies find little or no correlation between video games and aggression in kids. So either show me a legit study, or stop yelling that video games make kids violent. This is getting old. Number 9. Video games get in the way of schoolwork. I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they do. This one's totally fair. And without video games, my average would be like 10% higher. But to be fair, every extracurricular gets in the way of school. This one's just highly addictive. <laughs> Speaking of which, number eight, they're super addictive. Yeah, this one is definitely a legit reason. Again, I don't think kids shouldn't play video games, but some moderation is definitely good. Video games can be addictive to anyone, case in point, and young people are particularly at risk. And I speak from experience when I say that this addiction can cause people to spend way too much time playing video games. And this can make it tough to complete schoolwork in time and often gets in the way of everyday life. So as much as kids hate it, and believe me, I hated it, parents definitely ought to set some ground rules to stave off the addiction. Number seven, it'll rot your brains. We've all heard this one, whether they're talking about watching TV or playing video games. This often comes from people who have never actually played a game and just assume games don't involve any sort of mental activity. But as we gamers know, they absolutely do. Well, except for Goat Simulator, with that I feel stupider every time I play. Research has actually found the opposite effect for most games. A meta-analysis of 116 studies found that video gaming can increase sustained and selective attention and improve visuospatial skills. It was even found to affect the structure of the brain. The right hippocampus was enlarged. So if your mom ever tells you to stop playing or your brains will rot, just go, hey, I gotta keep my right hippocampus campus swole mom number six anonymity online leads to poor socialization this one has pros and cons now, on the one hand I totally agree that the anonymity young people have online isn't good because it leads to a whole whack of bullying and saying things they normally wouldn't if they weren't safely behind their computer but this isn't a video game problem this is an internet problem little Billy isn't being bullied on League of Legends that's on Facebook that said the whole FBS atmosphere of swearing every other word and yelling about other people's mothers yeah that's not the healthiest but I think most people know that that's not the way to talk to people in real life number five it's annoying letting kids win <laughs> if you have little siblings or family members, you'll know the pain. The pain of playing Super Smash Bros and watching them turn into a rock and jump off the edge for the eighth time. Trying to somehow maneuver yourself so they manage to accidentally hit you in their talentless smashing of the buttons. And it's freaking annoying. You want a turn? You can't handle a turn. So yeah, bottom line for this point is Ron is impatient and a bad cousin. Number four, the sedentary lifestyle is harmful. This one is true. <laughs> If you just play video games all day, you won't get nearly enough exercise unless it's all motion capture games. Especially in young people, exercise is super important, and sitting all day isn't good for developing bodies, or any body, really. The thing is, and you'll get tired of hearing this by the end, it's all in moderation. This same argument could be used against reading, which is even less active. If you do get out there and get the exercise you need, go ahead and chill out with some video games. Just don't play them all day long. Or do. I don't know, I'm not your mom. Number three. It gives kids unrealistic expectations about sex. Here's another one that's kind of true of some games. If you get all of your sex education from GTA and Leisure Suit Larry, of course you won't be the most respectful person. And some people definitely do start to think that the way to win a girl is to do a bunch of tasks for her, and if you do enough things for her, she'll like you. And this leads some to be disappointed, and you get the whole man going your own way thing. But, like, that's what parents are for. Teach your kids the proper way to socialize, and they'll learn it. Don't blame the games, just do your job as a parent. Number two. There are better things to do. I mean, yeah, kinda. This is true of most things. You don't yell at a novelist because he'd be better off trying to cure cancer. Not every moment needs to be lived to the absolute fullest benefit to mankind. Sometimes you just want to chill. Plus, hell, video games teach a bunch of important skills anyway, from decision making to coordination, all sorts of things. So game on, brave gamer. Number one. 
You could be out making friends. This is one that's straight up a generation gap. Older generations see video games as lonely and don't really appreciate the social aspect of them. But you can make great friends online. Some people even found their future spouses in video games. I had an argument with a guy who ended up teaching me how to roast a delicious chicken. Should you give up real life friends for online ones? Of course not. But that doesn't mean playing online games will suddenly destroy your social life. That's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed and if you did please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to Top 10 Gaming for more videos. You think kids should play video games or should we just lock every kid up and make them do homework until they're 18? Let me know in the comment section down below. Until next time I'm Ron McKenzie LaFerge with Top 10 Gaming. Later gamers.